Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I'm going to do another what I wore in a week. And I'm just going to pop in photos of everything that I wore and kind of walk you guys through it and what my thought process was <laughs> choosing the outfit. You guys know I'm six feet tall and... um I don't typically shop tall girl brands, so I make a lot of regular brands work for me. Um, I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> tall brands was not something that I shopped for when I was in New York, so let's jump right into it. And I'm looking at the photos here below so I could um, explain everything to you guys. So the first outfit is I have on a white knit dress from ASOS. It's really, really old. It was something that I purchased many years ago in three different colors um and it was actually really good quality so it has a mock neck but it doesn't have sleeves <laughs> the coat now the leather jacket that is 100 percent leather it is from it's by helmet lang it's very fitted guys um it's not like the frankie shop one so i wanted to wear it with this now the boots are mark fisher I've talked about these boots a million times. I like them because they're really soft, the heel is not high, and they slouch down and I can wear them up. So I wanted to keep it super simple these days. You guys know white is not really my color, but I like to pair it with a darker color just so it can take away some of that color with my skin tone because I am a warm skin tone, guys. Um, I hope it's not too bright. Um, the second outfit here, I have on my ALC faux leather pants I did not get those taken out because they were more newer than the brown ones um, but I do have it on with a wrap knit sweater from Zara it's old too guys <laughs> you guys know how I feel about Zara their knitwear is um, a hit or miss for me but this was actually a really good knit sweater um, and then I have it on my Gucci pouch, my Ophidia pouch, which I showed you guys that. And on my feet, I have on my Mark Fisher boots, the other ones <laughs> that are in like a nude taupe color. Earrings are a pair of earrings that I've got from an African vendor. Listen, if you are into accessories, do not hop over those vendors that you see outside especially the african vendors and the indian vendors um they have really nice jewelry nice accessories um and most times if the earrings are like brass they're gonna last you for a really long time um if the earrings are not brass and it's like some sort of material the earpiece of the earring most likely is sterling silver so you should be okay the third outfit, I was kind of going for a chill outfit this day. So I do have on my Gia Purnell boots, a Cos skirt, my Sheertex tights with this, I think I have the single seam. Yeah, the single seam one, because it's in the back. A Zara t-shirt and my Cos leather coat. That coat, guys, is the one that is 100% leather. It's more of a classic piece. So I wanted to wear it with that one because of the colors and stuff. I didn't want to do too much with my Frankie Shop coat. So that's number three. The fourth outfit is I have on. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that I get. Okay. This was Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day was not so cold here in Georgia. Um, but I was going to someone's house. So I wanted to keep it super chill and simple. So I did rock a pair of shell toe adidas my old zara good old zara <laughs> trousers those are not the longest trousers and they fit kind of weird in the legs I, I may get them cut into a pair of shorts um the top is actually from zara as well it's one it's one of their really good satin tops that actually tie up in the front and the jacket the tuxedo blazer is from alc it's an oversized blazer um but you guys know six feet tall it's not gonna be super oversized on me it's gonna fit me slightly oversized but not to the point where it looks weird on me so that's outfit number four and that was thanksgiving day let me know what you guys wore for thanksgiving i know that a lot of girls are wearing shoes and stuff and i'm just like if i'm going to someone's house i don't really want to walk around in heels in someone's house 
um i usually take off my shoes but heels in someone's house i really don't like to do it um uh, and the next one is the frankie shop jacket the fold of the jacket now this jacket is definitely much more trend trendy because it has the shoulder pads and stuff um but i did wear it with a pair of levi pants my good old mark fisher boots guys <laughs> And I actually have on a t-shirt under there, just a white t-shirt. And I kept it really, really simple this day. Nothing major, just super cute and super chill. At the end of the day, you do not have to always have on a bunch of colors to look stylish. Um, and I just, this is just my opinion. You do not, okay? A lot of girls who you see who wear neutral colors, they always look a certain way. Um, they're not over the top, but it suits them well. So choose clothes and colors that suit you best all right that's number five and let's see and the sixth outfit would be what i'm wearing today <laughs> and i'm gonna pop in a picture of that too so i kept it super chill today like i said the weather has been up and down so we could still get away with wearing ankles out and things like that so i have on my sam edelman pumps those pumps are comfortable um, a pair of Gap Barrel jeans, my Gucci chain belt, and I have on a Zara tweed jacket. Now the jacket is not a long jacket, so it's kind of like cropped at the waist. I usually don't like to go for those, but, and I didn't wear a shirt under it because I wanted to just be kind of free today. Um, but that is the sixth outfit that I wore last week, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you really like these videos, how do you guys want me to do them? It is all on what you guys want to see. I thought about just showing you guys a short snippet of video. That would be cool. Or even talking through them and just kind of putting them all together. But it really depends on what you guys feel like it will keep your attention span the longest. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys. We're almost there. Um, and make sure you are following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC and my personal blog Coco Styles NYC and my style and services CocoStylesNY.com and I will catch you guys in the next one guys. Bye guys.